What's going on everybody? Top of the morning. It has been such a weird effing morning. I have, uh, I woke up at like 12.30, 1 a.m. I guess I fell asleep around, I don't know, 5 or something like that. Maybe 5 in the afternoon. And we're like, well, that's why you woke up at 12 or 1, Pat. No, spirit, man. Like, I, I could have stayed awake, but it was just like, and now I'm asleep. And I did a meditation. I was like, and I'm asleep. This is how it works. Ask, <laughs> you watch any psychic, anyone that's like, yep, that's, that's how it works. Not all the time. But I've been pissed off the whole time. Been really fired up. And I don't know if I'm feeling the, the people from Maui, because I put up a Hawaii picture. That, and usually when I talk or make a video, it does make me feel better. But then again, something like that. Am I now dependent on making these videos and talking? Try to get out of this light, but slide it over a little bit. Here we go. Because um, then, you know, as you, did you just see that? Walk by. Thank you. Like I just want to. I just want to be happy, right? I just want to wake up and fucking feel like I. I always have. Thank you. Um, or even pumped up and fired up. Like this is pumped up, but like. Whew. And then I would think of people and I start fucking cussing them out for no reason. Like oh, like what the fuck am I doing? This early in the morning. Let's get something done. And again, knowing the right time, Captain America style. Uh, to just start making this video. I, I, you know, I meditated, which did help. And, uh, and I'm meditating on, uh, attracting money and so it's finances. That's my focus right now. And <laughs> winning the mega millions, who doesn't want to do that? Right? Exactly. And I've set up all my, uh, workout equipment and that's why I'm not sitting over in that area right now. Just, you know, just changing it a little bit. I, I don't like how busy the background is right here, but it's pretty cool. I like doing it like that because I do set it up like it's an audition. I get into it and you should, if you're making a video, get into it. Now don't get nervous if it's perfect or this, the, because the, even the audition uh, isn't perfect, but you do it so much that it just becomes second nature. I mean, we'll be back over there uh, <clears throat> by the end of the day and things, but I just, you know, I was just like, fuck it, let's do it. And I want to talk about it. Uh, my dream last night, and that's part, I think that's part of the reason I'm so pissed. It was 2-2-2 two, two, two on the clock. I can't really remember the whole dream, but I can remember some of it. I'm a little embarrassed of it, but not really. Like, there's a part of the dream. <clears throat> it was me and a bunch of women, but I think I was a I was a woman as well. I think men were there as well, but we we're on an island. But I I'm not sure if it was an island, but we were lost on a journey, and then we found ourselves in a certain area, and I like started to feel the ground. And there was grass that was overgrown, but then as I as I started kind of moving a little bit with dirt and things, I felt there was like tile or <clears throat> like a cobblestone under the grass, and 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 that's where we started the journey. I was just and I was really excited. I was like, no, no, we've been here before. We've been here before. This is where we started. And I don't know why I was so excited by that. You know, if they said life is a spiral going through the same thing, but is it? Especially if it's the feminine energy. Or, 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 you know, feminine, the grass is growing, so it's not quite the same. It was just cobblestone before. Now, you could say weeds, but it wasn't. It was grass. You know, it was green, luscious, beautiful, well, at least sparks of grass growing, not weeds. So, I don't know, something's growing. This is growing, something's growing. Especially that feminine energy creating. Maybe that's going on. Maybe, maybe it's fine. And then the, the dream, the other part I, I remember, it was uh, me and a bunch of guys. And I want to say the girls were there too, but it was guys. We were in a shower, a big open shower, naked. But then there was peeing. And we were like peeing on each other. And there were dreams, right? Dreams. But I also know that's... Um, any type for me, any type of bathroom, and I've had a lot of bathroom, <coughs> interesting, shitting dreams. Ooh, I just felt this whole, like, from here into my sinuses, like, get popped out. So that's always fun. Because uh, I'm speaking my truth, right? <clears throat> I guess talking does make me feel better. Uh, the releasing, kind of like what, what just happened right there. I mean, we all have shit inside, I guess, or, or, you know, we're ascending, we're all carrying dense energy. And, uh, I guess the ping is the same thing. And I would assume that's my masculine energy. And I'm going to say assume, because again, it's my masculine energy. 
and uh, I don't know, Robert Patterson was there. Always actors are always popping up in my in my dreams and things like that. And it's funny that a card I didn't really notice. I kind of noticed it, but not really. Give zero what? Uh, this rebel deck gives zero fucks. Gives zero. Like, you are giving too many fucks. That's what the other side says right there. Whew, what does that even mean about the dream or about anything? And it's this this energy. This this you know. And I I I always want to blame it. I want to blame it on caffeine. I want to blame it on which, by the way, this is like my ninth cup. <laughs> I just like coffee. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going, ah. uh, or I want to blame it on Adderall. I always want to. This is the reason, and I don't know. I don't know why that is. I've never done that before. Bodybuilding. I always knew it was me and my workouts. Anything I took with my bodybuilding, right, was just to add on. It's a supplement, right? Food, same thing. So I've never done that. So now it's like I want to find it. I'm like. Spirit, it's this, and it's like I want an answer for something that I don't know. That, honestly, I don't know what the question is. You know, maybe I'm just not happy where I am in life, and that that's okay. But now I ask myself, was I ever really happy where I was in life? As I see all my friends walking around around me here, uh, spiritually. You know, I made tons of money. Still wasn't happy. Uh, I was on my journey. I can say this, which is interesting. The last time I was in New York for two years pursuing my acting, I wasn't just happy. I was, I was pumped up. I was focused. I was angry, but not like this. I would lied, the one lie, uh, which I've talked about before. I used to say I was a, a former officer in the Marine Corps and things, which now I know I've hung out with a lot of them in their swinger, poly, you know, polyamorous ways. And trust me, they ain't made of gold either. Um, that's what they call it. It's just why do you think the divorce rate? Because we're, and ooh, they're going to tell you all these other things, Mr. Discipline. And hey, I'm sitting here in a video telling you my imperfections that I used to look up to you all as I, as I wear this shirt. Uh, and now the next card. Oh, so funny. I put the card down and think about it. You are not the fucking center of the universe. These are a bit rough cards, right? Stop obsessing. Uh, yeah. Okay. Next one says, seriously, just do it. Fucking apologize. You know who, and did you hear the second voice say that with the apology? Who do I have to apologize to? All the milk. I'm not going to apologize to them. They don't need it. Maybe I apologize to myself, you know, but I was happy and it wasn't that lie. Was it? I was pursuing something. You know, and I accomplished my, my fitness goals. Uh, I was running a bar. I wasn't auditioning as much. But also, it was just time for this. You could feel it for me to for me to see everything else that was around me. And the crazy thing is, I see it. I feel it. I smell it. I taste it. I hear it. All the other, you know, uh, uh, spiritual beings, entities, everything around me, around us, everywhere. Everywhere I go. Everywhere. What other people would call the impossible, as this we're saying to me right now, right? To me, it, it's just possible. It just is. And I've always believed in the impossible. You can do whatever you want. You have to just, just, you know, just fucking do it like the card said. Seriously, just do it. And yes, all of that is, is combined. The meditation, the just do it. That saying, I was thinking about it earlier and I was getting mad about it. Like, really? Just do it so I can just be... A basketball player and beat Michael Jordan? Of course not. Fucking A, I don't want to play basketball, so why would that even be the thing that pops in my head? Weird, right? I twist my ankles every time I play. I was going to say, but Michael can't do this. Or, or when you get me to act on, on stage and things, of course he can do a lot of great things. Right? Uh, I'm actually more inspired by anything of, of Michael Jordan. I don't know. I just... I had to make this video now. I still feel that same, like, you know, which is great. Uh, I don't feel as angry. I don't have, not even angry. What is it? Anger? What is it? Insecurity? Fear? What? Am I transmuting for 
Welcome to Spiritual Awakening, y'all, <clears throat> and Ascending. You do, you're tapped in almost everybody now, which I always say, if this is how everyone feels, F you guys, man. I've never felt like this. I've always been a go-getter. But also my own, right? How, how much energy have I transmuted from the day I was born without knowing it? Am I holding on to it? I don't know. But it's not mine, but it is at the same time. I'm fucking great at it. I mean, how, how many of y'all feel so much better after maybe hearing one of my videos or, or or workouts or something, which we'll do today? That, I'm just like, you got to do it. And I, it's not that I don't want to. I do. Very much so. So, uh, yeah. And you know what? I just want to do, I'm going to split the deck. I have this um, moon deck. You know me. I like to split the deck is what I do. Oh my goodness, have faith in your dreams. Wax Crescent Moon. We had that same card yesterday. I shuffled it since yesterday though. Have faith in your dreams. So I'm asking you, what are your dreams? I know what mine are. Acting, performing, this. Man, I don't want this channel to blow up so mother... I am so tired of doing a nine to five. I am so tired of running bars, of doing what normal people do. And I don't mean, eh, no one's normal. If you enjoy it, great. If you enjoy working for the government in your little box this, box that, and I don't mean that in a swinger way. Most of them are the swingers of it. Great. Do it, man. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm fucking tired of it. I know what I deserve. And I say deserve because I'm fucking my ass. I work harder than everybody. And yet I had to, I'm the one who had to go through this and I know that's why. And I used to blame, but now I don't. I just go, fine, we're back into this mode. Then let's do it. Then let's do it. Um, so yeah, have faith in your dreams. What are your dreams? Guys, what are they? Huh? Again, mine's performing. Not only this, yeah, acting, um, hosting. I'm going to host the Academy Awards and win the Academy Award while I'm hosting it. No one's ever done that before. I'm going to do it. How, when, I'd, soon. How about that? All right, I'm going to, hold on. I saw this card. <laughs> As I was saying, how, see how this works? Your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon in Taurus. Um, now the Taurus constellation as well. Okay, You're, it needs a plan. I've made a lot of plans in life. And they have worked. But they never worked in the long run. Maybe I didn't adjust it. Maybe I didn't get to that point where, okay. Yes. What's your plan now? My plan now to make at least three videos a day or combine them all into one longer video. Uh, four days a week with two days off. Those two days off are usually the two days off of working out as well. Um, that's a plan of mine. Uh, also to win the lottery, mega millions, 120 million or 20 million, 120 million or 20 million. It, it's within there. And with that, uh, I would buy, I am going to buy either a new Bronco or Jeep, a trailer, Aerostream, go travel it, man, head over to Cali, mainly because it's the beach and nicer weather, but also travel the world. I'll have enough to travel the world and keep making these videos Audition in New Zealand and Australia. That's a pretty far-fetched plan. Well, hell yeah. You want me to dream? I'm going to dream big. Because I'm going to tell you right now, even when you aim for the stars, you may not hit them, but you'll still hit the mother moon, baby. And if you're on that moon, take a moment. Take a knee. Rest it up. Jump again. And get to the other stars. Because remember, stars see other stars. What are stars to us on planet Earth? There are other planets, right? So what are we on planet Earth to other stars? We're stars too. We only see the light in each other. That's it. Now, keeping that faith, sometimes it, it is hard. But again, like I, one thing I used to do is run bars and, and, and work my ass off no matter what. And hustle, hustle, go, go, go. And nothing was working, man. It wasn't working. It wasn't working no matter how hard I worked. My bodybuilding methods like didn't work in life. And I even tried lowering myself to what I call everyone else's standard, which fucking sucks. Nothing got done. Everyone just complained. I was like, I'm fucking done with that. And I started being me again. And somehow the bar got so much better. The the gym got so much better. Uh, my money kept coming in. But then what do you think? 
everyone else, and I hate even saying that because I usually just block them out. And now I, it's not that I can't block them out now. What is it? I fucking know. I, I, I feel it. I smell it. I hear it. You're, you're, the thoughts you're having. And then I just say it to you. And then you're like, oh, oh, like you're caught. And I'm like, fuck. Myself included. Be better. Do better. And I'm not saying you have to be the best in the world. Just, just try. And I'm saying it to myself as much as I'm saying it to y'all. Which is really weird because I've never needed to even say that. But I'll never doubt you with whatever your dream is. I'll never make fun of it. You know, I'll never get insecure about it and be like, oh, no, I hate that. No, I'll be like, good, do it. I don't care what it is. If you want to be a porn star, go for it. You know, and nothing's as easy as you think it is. No one just, yeah, eh. I'll tell you what. I did my first uh, uh, sex scene in a short film. They are not what you think. It is not like a super awesome. I mean, it is awesome fun because I love acting and performing, but it's pressure, man. It is pressure. You know, it's a, a young lady, beautiful young lady who I just met like the day before for the first time. And then we have to pretend to be intimate. You know, I have lines I have to say in the middle of it. And she didn't, um, uh, she had pasties on, had hair covering her breast, had uh, flesh like panties on. So she didn't, you know, she wasn't going to show anyth anything. I was like, cool, great. So that means me as the actor is going to work with her. Also holding up the um, uh, sheet up around her so you can't see the panties and then I also have to you know, hold her a certain way with ca with the camera so you can't see certain things um, and I'll tell you I, I live by a certain thing uh, Sir Michael Caine said it, said it best don't start rehearsing or practicing the, the love scenes or the kissing the day before because it leads to something else and on professional sets you have intimacy coaches and you know camera shots and angles and lighting you have to get just right where you that's why i moved from this light right here that's like to right over here you know so it's like say that was the scene and i took her to right here that, that messes up the whole shot so i have to know i have to go here with it you see what i'm saying um luckily my psychic abilities were, were full full kill which they always are but i was like man i really got uh, I really wish we could rehearse this, but I'm not going to be that guy. Because, A, I don't want her to feel insecure and think like I'm asking, like, let's rehearse. And I'm not that kind of person. Luckily, she came and asked me. And uh, whatever, Lindsay Mitchell from my Facebook or something that just came up. No, I say full, full names. Uh, that was not her name, by the way, the, the girl I was working with. But she asked me, which was awesome and great. And we worked something out, which was beautiful. You know, because it was very it was supposed to be aggressive, um, and and aggressive, and there's lines, and it's you pretend to have sex and enjoy it, and um, so I'm really glad that she came and did that, and we worked we worked something out that was great. Now, did I get excited while doing it? Yes, I did. And you all know what I mean. I got I got a huge heart on, and when we're rehearsing, I, I you know I start like she could feel it. And I was like, right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, good, 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 good. Uh, so, and I ended there like, no, I'm not there for that. Regardless of maybe what she, you know, whatever. I'm not going to speak for her. I was not there for that. That was one of my worries too, was that, fuck, oh, no, what if I get excited during the scene? I don't want to get, it, uh, uh, you know, again, that's just going to add the pressure of it on there. Um, so when the scene even started, I had my, I, you know, I have a sock that I taped uh, around which I didn't even think of bringing one so I was I had like sp half socks on well, actually I ch like I had a bunch of like you know ankle socks which was not helping my cause right there right of all the socks to choose but I had it taped on and and my my junk did the opposite it did not get excited it tried to hide like up within me and uh the sock kept falling off that's embarrassing so I'm like trying to hit that light with her and say the scene and have the sock going and she's doing the same type of thing and and there was a lot I had to, you know, there was a lot of, you know, women, you love this, you know what that is, choking on there. So again, I've done a lot of stunt work, which is great because you don't have to do anything. This, if I do, it looks like choking, right? And it's the person who has to make up their choking and I'm not doing anything. I literally, I'm just put my hand there. That's it. That's all you have to do for stunt for that. Let the person do the acting. Okay. Um, <laughs> which I love in the middle of the scene though, 
uh, the six hours we we pretended to have sex, uh, I knew it too. I was like, man, it would be hot. And it would be a great thing if she did that to me. And I didn't say it out loud. I thought it. And boom, she did it. And I was like, oh, did I read your mind? But the thing is, she's never done stunt work, so she really did choke me. And again, like I'm, uh, you know, a buck, 80, 90 pounds, uh, pretty fit. And she was like 100 pounds soaking wet. And, you know, but I probably should have said something afterwards. Because if she ever did something like that again, like, hey, check it out. This is all you have to do. Uh, but during a scene, I, I do my best not to, you know, direct the other actor unless I'm actually the director. Go figure. Crazy town, you know. But I used it. When she did it, I used it in those moments. Like, yeah, oh, I'm into it, you know. Um, but it was not what you think. It is. It was, you know, pressure. Uh, about an hour into it, I threw my lower back out. So... Either I was doing it really well or not well at all. But I can't stop. I'm in the middle of the scene. It's like, oh, I hurt my back. I mean, you can if it's a injury injury. But I was like, this is a short film. This is where we have the house for a few hours. Uh, uh, keep going. Just push. keep going, bro. Push through on it. Ugh, pain the whole time, my back. Pain. And it was it's something that had just... I think it's a chakra thing, too. I think it was a root chakra, a sacral chakra thing. Um... It just recently really started feeling better through meditation and working with my guides who have been healing me and things. Uh, but but that doing that, I was thinking because also I I finally got so upset with this the sock falling. I was like fuck it, and I threw it down. I and I did the scene. I'm butt naked just doing a scene in front of these people. And also there's like six guys all around us, you know, uh, holding. And it's not. It was just main, mainly crews like that. Uh, uh, film crews are guys. They're not always are. I've had a beautiful redhead. Uh, like, like kind of more of a fit. I was like, Ooh, she fucking hot. She was like, you're hot. I was like, Ooh. um, but again, like, again, it's not like it, I was getting turned on by that. Right. So, uh, and I remember that doing that scene, they got me fully butt naked in there. And I remember I had to call him afterwards. Hey man, remember I didn't give consent for nudity. I just want to let you know. So that scene that we have there and he was like, no, 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 I totally, yeah, totally. Uh, I'm with you on there, but I just don't want to have to worry about having a fucking, it's taped. Uh, get the fuck out of there. Let me do my thing. You know? Uh, which got me thinking about uh, adult film stars. And I, I, I watch porn. Everyone watches porn. I'm not even one of the spiritual people. It's like porn and it's bad and it's doing... No, it's acting. But they're really having sex? Yes, but it's a show. Again, they have to hit their light and turn themselves out to the camera and show it's not, it's not comfortable, right? And performing under the same type of uh, pressure, right? Their sound. There's the battery will go out on the camera. You have to uh, sh stop and then, you know, shift angles and edit and do everything else. So I know as an actor, I'm trained with my emotions to be like, okay, wait a minute, cut, cut, cut. We have a, we have to a little technical, technical difficulty, te you know, issue and things like that. And then rec uh, Mercury retrograde pops in my head. We'll talk about that too. I usually get most of my work and amazing things done during that time. But wait, that's supposed to be the community. Uh, hey. You're giving it the power, then go ahead. I'm not saying it's not a thing, but I'm not going to let that be the reason like something doesn't work, right? Or or my voice or this or communication. That's your thing. Cool. It's not mine. I'll acknowledge it. I'll be like, hey, that's pretty cool, man. I like energy and things like that. Um, <clears throat> life's going to go on, Right? You know, what are you going to give your power to? I just don't, yeah, I don't allow myself to, I'm not saying it's not real. I'm not saying it's not a thing. I think it's really interesting and awesome. But also, what is my thing? I'm flowing. I'm trusting. I'm, I'm not even learning. I'm truly trust, uh, trusting. Even this anger energy of mine, you know, I'm transmuting it. But I trust it. Turn this video on. Just do what I do. So uh, back to those adult film stars, same thing. As an actor, I'm trained where if it's technical difficulties and if it's, uh, stop you. Know, I can, I don't lose. I don't, Oh my God. Well, I'm in the scene. No, no, that's not professional. Like, cool. Gotcha. Same thing has to go with a, with, with an adult film star has to, you know, especially if you're the guy, I would person me, if I was, I would be like, that's not how that works. That's what. So, wow. What, uh, whether it's a pill or not, or maybe, you know, and they're performing, they're performers. 
Like maybe some do walk around all day like sex and this, I highly doubt it. Uh, doctors, you know, the last thing they do when they, when they, you know, they leave the hospital, you know, do they go home and, and doctor some more? Um, maybe they don't doctor, but no, I'm sure they do because they're on call, but no. Like when I worked at the gym, I was at the, when I ran my own fitness company, man, I was at the gym fucking almost 60, 70 hours a week. The last thing I wanted to do when I went home was to work out some more, even think about it. Get what I'm saying? So it's a, it, for adults, film stars, it's a show. And it, it's funny because I'll, I'll end up, you know, I'll turn, I'll turn on pointing for the, for that reason, you know, to, you know, and especially with someone like Riley Reed, I start, I start watch the acting in there. And I don't mean the actual lines because that's not what they're doing. That's not, that's like watching, uh, that's if you watch a really bad, if you watch an action movie. And expect it to be, I mean, some are, especially nowadays, you have to be a Daniel Craig or, or, or a Chris Hemsworth, Chris Evans, you know, you'd be an actor and buff up and do the action, but they have stuntmen that step in, you know, but you've all seen those, those action movies where the acting is really bad. And uh, depending on if it's a Chinese film or sometimes even not Japanese so much, but Chinese, it's, that's a style. Jackie Chan does it really well. It's a little bit bigger. Um, That'd be like knowing, doing vaudeville uh, stage and comedy or slapstick comedy and not knowing the style, right? Or going to watch it, not knowing like, this is fucking weird. What is this? I'm like, well, it's a style of acting, you know? It's like a mammoth play. You got to know the, the speech of mammoth or doing a Shakespeare play, regardless of how you do it. Because I've seen Shakespeare done in modern times, this, this, this. You still have to have the rhythm of the soliloquy of what you're saying, Okay. What? You're talking acting, Pat. And also, yes, porn. Adult film stars. It is a show. And I remember I'd watch like Riley Reed, where there was like two girls and a guy and things. She's the lead. They all follow her, no matter what. And I'll sit there and go, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't think this is discussed. I don't think this is, I don't, uh, may, maybe it is in some of them. But I'm like, do they even know they're following her? She's the lead. She's the star. She knows it. She's illuminating. She's a light. Stars see other stars. And for me, in every medium, I love talent. I love talent and I love talent. And I'm not saying, yo, look at that talent, yo. No, I love it. And she's great at what she does. I bet you, I guarantee you, guarantee Psychic Channel right here, she's going to be a huge star in acting as well as I shake my camera. What? Yeah. I guarantee she is going to cross. And I hate saying cross the line, like there's a good line or bad. No, she's going to ascend and do what she does. Boom. I, I would love to work with her. And I don't, I'd be intimidated in film wise I, or uh, adult film wise. I'd be like, what am I going to show you something? Like, really? Like I would, I would be very, the first round would 10 seconds, best 10 seconds of your life. But that's, <laughs> that's the, and then the second round would be much, you know, but that's not what I do. I would actually love to sit and talk with her more about how open, expressive. These, these, I'm not saying these individuals don't have shame or insecurity, but it's definitely not sexually. If anything, it's what the how the world sees them. And you know what? The world, man. I love every single one of you. But if I bow down to every time society, you know, or someone was insecure because I am so open about what I do in life, about lifting weights or whatever, modeling, I'm a good looking dude, you know what? And, and anything, anything, me just standing there sometimes and people want to try to say something, like, go fuck yourself. You know, I love you all, but sometimes you got to say it to somebody. You're allowed to have boundaries. You're allowed to be you, right? And, uh, how many, so many individuals want to, especially in the adult film industry and, and acting as well. How many have taken their own life in both, right? They are ascending, they are channelers as well. And that's why they do drugs and, and, and the life and, you think it's, oh, it's Hollywood. Well, yeah, there is that. But usually it's society. And, and oh, I want to be a bigger star. I want to know thyself. Know thyself. Man, you do you. And if you're a great adult film star, you fucking be a great adult film star. It's not easy. I know that from doing one sex scene, right? I've done a lot of kissing scenes. I'm great at that. I'm... I'm you know, I say I'm Patrick Swayze, literally, of that. Man, awesome. That's what I do. 
but that was a whole different thing to have to hold and make sure they're not seeing it in the like whoo it was difficult I mean, it was great and the product didn't turn out as well because the sound guy messed it all up so then i had to go and like dub the whole fucking thing and i was so heartbroken I, I put so much into this. It was such a great film. And it still is, I think. I think it, it'll still work. But then I had to go back and like do a voiceover over all the lines I was saying. Like, uh, uh, fuck, that sucked, man. It sucked. But again, and it was during Mercury Retrograde, which is funny. Uh, I didn't really F up. I did a great job. But hey. What are we going to do about it? I think I think people are still going to see it. I think they're still going to be like, well, there's something here, especially with that guy. Unfortunately, he had to dub it. But uh, that's like watching old Steve Reeves Hercules movie and going, oh, bad acting because they had to dub it sometimes, which no. Right, Steve? Dubbing sucks. I know. He never liked it either. Um, different with Lou Fregno, I know. I know why now I had to make this video and say things. I didn't even know. It, was I holding on to it? We're transmuting it right now, yeah. That's so much fun. And I did tarot card read as well. Again, I do it very differently than everybody. And that's okay. That's what... we're all. Listen, we're all the same. People call it the cosmic law of one. I just call us as one. Right? I don't care your, your creed, color, religion, species. Because we're all one species. That's right. We're all one soul. We're all one being. We're one. Okay? But we're unique. I'm unique. You're unique. And I celebrate that, that uniqueness in every single one of you and vice versa. Even someone in porn, adult film star, good for them. You know how much shame I would already have had <clears throat> even beforehand? And I, I've been called in to do uh, Skin and Max films and things. And I'm like, nah, I'm not going to do that. I'm, I'm better than that. I'm above that. I was scared to do it. But I do it now. Eh. That's a great question. Let's talk about that. I don't know. I don't know. I'm an actor. Um, and I would make it really good, the acting. And there's been, I mean, I, uh, Matt LeBlanc has done Red Shoe Diaries. Heck, um, David Duchovny was the guy who was the writer and the guy who read all the all the letters on Red Shoe Diaries, if y'all remember that, like Skinamax back in the day. How many other countless actors probably did a lot of those shows that have, have gone on to do great things? Heck, man. I'm not saying that's the... Well, I don't know. Right now, I can honestly say I don't know. But when it would come to that moment, I would know. And I would know whether it was insecurity and fear of me being naked or, or me actually knowing. Like Denzel Washington, you know, knowing he did not want to do that movie called The Nigger That Couldn't Die. And that's what it was called. They wrote it. I've talked about it before. And give me, I, and trust me, I don't give that word any power, as no one ever should. He knew he didn't want to play that part of a black man in the South who got lynched and came back to life. And they lynched him again and came back to life over and over. And he worked too fucking hard to, to represent something like that. Good for you, man. Good for you. Same thing for you all. What's your dream? Have faith in your dream. Make a plan. You might say the plan's going to work. Make make the blueprint, right? Now, sometimes it's a guideline, but it is a blueprint. At least you have, you know, a way to do it. And I want to do a few more of these uh, Moon Tarot cards right here. I'm going to shuffle it, and then we'll... Uh, do I want to read that one? I do. Look at that. A new start is coming. Boom. What are we talking about, y'all? That's exactly what we're talking about. Well, we're talking about a lot of things. All right. I'm going to split the deck again. A personal issue reaches resolution. Full moon in cancer. I'm always happy to hear that. Now, a resolution is, is usually, regardless, it's a resolution. So what are you going to do with that? Right? Right? that plan you can now make from that, All right? Now I'm going to split the Rebel deck and we'll end it there, y'all. I'm going to do a couple different ones. I'll read this. Fuck! You need your people around you. 
Not people, your people. Who are your people? Uh, I'm asking myself as much as you. That's one of the new starts I know I'm bringing in my whole, my, 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 my tribe, my, my soul people, my, you know. And I'm going to flip the other side. Fuck. Shit is about to get real. Shit's always real. Huh? When is it not real? And what do we mean by real? Because like, I'm like, mm, shit's real, girl. You know it. Oh, oh, oh. You got the right stuff. And now the other side here, we have eat some yummy shit. Bacon, chocolate, beer. Get some. And I mean that in a cool way, not the military get some way. Uh, step away from the crazy making diet for a hot second. Kale and, and s spirulina taste like ass. I don't know what that is. I don't eat it. That could be for me as well as anyone else. Uh, I eat really strict, very lean, um, especially now getting back into the shape. But also, let's talk about that. Um, little secret between you and me, and I'll put a picture up of it. Even in my best shape, no matter, I was eating donuts, right? I may not drink a lot. Actually, no, that's not true. I actually drank, uh, I worked at a bar, so I would drink it. I would try not to drink too much at the bar because I had to count money. I had to be very responsible. Um, but when I got home, I would definitely have a few drinks. I, I was 5% body fat. But I was working out all the time. I was working hard. I wasn't really stressed. The spiritual awakening thing was the thing that was getting me. Man, whoo, whoo, whoo. I was like, what is this? What is going on here? That is the stuff that, that was getting me. And there's just no way I could be around. Again, I, I worked bars that I would see thousands of people a day. I was running uh, fitness classes and gyms, which when, you're, when your clairsentient abilities are kicking on full-fledged, baby, those are not the places you want to be because you're, you're feeling everything from everyone. And I was in incredible shape. Again, 5% body fat. I think that has a lot to do with it. Not only your own confidence. And, and not that you need guards or anything up like that, but like, yeah, you're very, you know, I don't know, clairsentient in that way. You, you you know your body, you know? So yeah, we'll leave it right there, y'all. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. I really don't mind. I thought I had a thing with this setup before, but I think I like it. Maybe I'll do this more often too. I'll just, I'll switch it up. You know you like switching, whatever. All right. Thank you, guys.